We start by importing the load remote module function from the at Angular-Architects module federation package. This function is going to be our key tool for loading a remote module. Next, we define our module federation configuration. Remote entry points to the remote entry JS file hosted on a remote server. Remote name is the name of the remote container, essentially a unique identifier for our remote app. Exposed module specifies the path to the module within the remote app that we want to load. Now we move on to our Angular routing configuration. We define a route with the path remote module. For the load children property, we're using an arrow function to call load remote module with our remote config. We then use then to resolve the promise and access the remote module which we want to load dynamically. Finally, we wrap our routes into an Angular module. We use the ing module decorator to import the router module and pass it our routes with for root. We also export router module so it's available throughout our application. And with that, we've successfully set up our app routing module class to handle the dynamic loading of remote modules.